MJ, the only Grand Slam winner in the history of the NWA arena. And? And after being robbed almost point blank two weeks ago by Chad Parham, the former Anarchy Heavyweight Champion, his opponent is a man who likewise in the past few weeks has racked up quite the impressive resume, not only hanging toe to toe with the phenomenal AJ Styles at season's beatings, nearly winning that match on more than one occasion, but also getting a pinfall victory, albeit in six man competition against the world's television champion, Ace Rockwell. Well, you, you know what, let me tell you something about Jeremy Vane here. Jeremy Vane is on his way up. His stock is rising. This man is going to be places in a few months that no man can any, even dream of being. Slim J, I give him credit, hats off to him. The only Grand Slam winner in NWA arena history. That right now means absolute squat because his gym bag is a little bit lighter because that gold belt is out of his reach now. And right there, the wrist lock, Jeremy V, Vane, excuse me, going head over heels, clipping referee Brent Wiley in the process. He shouldn't have been in the way. And right now, big back body drop by the former Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. And personally, in my mind, a man that should still be wearing that gold belt around his waist. That's your opinion. And I'm entitled to it. Yes, the you are, but line, you know what? Why can't you just give Chad Parham credit where credit's due? I give Chad Parham a world of credit. He is an incredible competitor. He has held the Anarchy Heavyweight title now on two occasions, the first man in history to ever do that. Thank you. I have called him the most unorthodox technical wrestler in the world, period. Thank I you. hold to that belief, and it is that belief that makes me sick at my stomach to think that he would come in and challenge Slim J to a title match after Slim J was in a brutal defense against the son of Satan, Azrael, and take advantage of the situation. You know what, Greg Hunter? He that's, stole that's, the title. That's why you've never been a winner in your life, because you don't take advantage of situations. When opportunity knocks, you answer the door. That's what Chad Parham did. You know what, and let me tell you something. You wanna sit here and you wanna blame Chad Parham for being the NWA Anarchy Heavyweight Champion? No, I wanna blame him for taking the shot the way he did. No, and you I know do. what, you know who you need to blame? You need to blame Jerry Palmer, the owner of NWA Anarchy. If he wasn't so hell bent on getting Chad Parham in the ring at season's beatings, he would have never agreed to that matchup. It's all Jerry Palmer's fault. You can't blame Chad Parham. Oh, yes, I can, and I do. He's the one that decided when to take the title match. And right now, Jeremy Vane, side headlock against the former Anarchy heavyweight champion. And speaking of Chad Parham, I found out this week that uh, Superman does indeed own a pair of Chad Parham pajamas. Hammer lock applied by Slim J, Jeremy Vane, who has, ha who has found a rekindled intensity on Slim J. Jeremy Vane, likewise a top contender. He has all the momentum in the world. And Jeremy Vane and Slim J, both, you would have to think, would love to get in the ring with Chad Parham, would love a shot at the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship, one of the most coveted prizes, not only in the National Wrestling Alliance, but in the world. And right now, Slim J, the air supply being cut off, the blood supply, the blood flow to the brain being cut off by this chin lock, trying to keep himself conscious. You can easily slip out of consciousness in this hold, but he bridges up back to his feet, trying to find a way out, and a jawbreaker will do it. And right now, I mean, that, this is what I was talking about. You know, one thing that you can do, and I've said this over and over again, is you cannot underestimate Slim J. No matter how much you think you have him beat down, the man can come back. Jeremy Vane needs to go ahead and finish this one off. And uh, speaking of Slim J coming back, it looks like he's doing a good job of that right now, Greg Hunter. Flying head scissors, big clothesline now. Slim J making it two, taking it to Jeremy Vane. And 
now the former Anarchy Heavyweight Champion heads up to the High Red District, comes off flying inverted DDT. And what in the world is Chad Parham doing on the ring? Just threw that coffee in Slim Jay's face. The latte. It's a caffeinated beverage. Well, you just gotta get it right. Chad Parham doesn't drink coffee, he drinks lattes. Roll up and a handful of tights and Chad Parham hoses Slim J again. Jeremy Vane, once again, proving that he is one of the most opportunistic wrestlers in the NWA today, and Chad Parham, you know, I'm shot. After he came in and he took the shot at the title right after Slim J was in a brutal match, why doesn't he give his rematch now? That would be in keeping. Right now, though, Slim I J. I agree with you. Go ahead and let him do it. Oh, good grief. Slim J trying to fight back. And Jeremy Vane joining in the assault of Slim J. And he's hauling Slim J up. Oh, good grief. This is not necessary. And there's the world's television champion. The best wrestler on TV today. Chad Parham? No, you moron. The world's television champion, Ace Rockwell.